It's carnage on the start line. Nearly the whole fleet over the line. And Australia may emerge as the real winners here at mark number one. Really nice gains by the US here. They're moving up. Oh, and Canada makes contact. This is huge news for the US team. If they can hold on to this position, this will put them in first place overall on the leaderboard going into the final race. The win in race number four goes the way of the Australians. Oh, oh no, he's got to drop to the back of the pack. Germany and Spain are going to be first at Mark 1. What an opportunity for Spain, Germany and USA. USA, they're in great shape. I like this decision by Taylor Canfield. Split away from Spain and Germany. Currently, this will see the Kiwis, Americans and Spanish through. It is Spain that come across the line. They win race number five. The real battle is Canada and New Zealand. New Zealand look like they're just going to hang in there. Oh, they're going to get there. Yeah, by a boat length. Oh, my word. For the final in here in Abu Dhabi, and the Kiwis are fastest at the gun, but can they roll over the top of the US to Mark 1? Berlin and the Kiwis with a master class in patience as they approach Mark number 1 here at the event final in Abu Dhabi. So Berling in complete control of the Spanish right now, but Canfield, he's on a wing and a prayer. Opportunity for the US boat if they can find more wind. Spanish have forced the USA to sail wider. Good news for USA up to second though. So in the final at Abu Dhabi, it is New Zealand. That's two event wins in a row. The Kiwis take top honors in the UAE.